Hello, welcome to another Train Tuesday. Um, yeah, in this we're back to making some Dungeon Scatter. Um, if you've seen the previous one, which is chess, this is going to be making bookcases. Um, effectively, I'm remaking all the sort of dungeon furniture from Hero Crest. But um, for Christmas, I got some uh, sort of Whiz Kids. It's like a wizard laboratory thing that you can see here. It has sort of stuff like little books in and little bottles. So I'm going to be using this for some of it. Also, if you don't have this, just showing you how to make some books to go in a bookcase. Um, and what we're going to be making is something like magic. These here. You can see these. These are going to be bookcases. This one you put the. Uh, but it can be used in just making all the books itself. And this one has some of the Wizkid bits in. Though it does have a bottle here from Wizkid uh, stuff. But yeah, that's what we're going to be making. So let's uh, crack on. Okay, so the components from the main actual bookcase are going to be a uh, back piece, which is going to be two inches uh, long by an inch and a half high. Two side panels, which are just over a uh, half inch. Uh, I forgot what they call them. Hang on. <laughs> Give me a um, five eighths wide, so it's just slightly over a half inch. This thing here. Uh, you two of those. Uh, the base of it is going to be made out of a bit of foam core. So this is like five, six mil foam core. It's two inches long and half an inch wide. The, you're going to have two shelves, uh, which are the same dimensions as the base. So two inches by half inch. Uh, for the base, just for a bit of extra detail, you can get a bit of thin. This is 300 mil, uh, 300 GSM card. A cereal box card will do. Just add a bit of interest to the bottom of it. It's just going to glue on there. You don't have to do it. It's just trying to add a bit of interest, as I said, to it. And the top of it is made from foam core again. And this is two and five eighths long and one and three quarter inches wide. And again, just add a bit more interest to it. Here's a bit of foam core, a um, bit of chipboard, one mil chipboard. Doesn't really matter about the dimensions as such. So gonna, we'll just sit on top here. But if you are interested in it, it's um, five eighths wide and one and seven eighths long. Um, now I'm basing these on the old uh, Hero Crest bookshelves, and they had little sort of noggins here. If you're going to make those, you're just going to need four um, little cubes, almost of the uh, six mil uh, foam. And they're cut so they're just higher than the foam core. And with those as well, you'd need to get uh, little squares of um, paper card, cereal box card, just to add on, just to put on top, just to add a bit of uh, interest. But we'll get to that in a minute. With the uh, side panels, what you want to do is get some sort of sculpting tool esque thing and just score in a wood grain effect. Uh, maybe adding in some little knots and whatnot. Hey, whatnot. Uh, do that on the sides, the front of it. Edge, you don't need to worry about the back unless you really want to. Um, normally goes against the wall, but you never know. And then what you're using these for, it might be viewable from the back, but I, I don't bother. Need to worry about the tops here. It is going to come in with a sort of quite wood score pattern. Uh, make it as detailed or as uh, stylized as you want. Um, it's probably way off scale, but I've made it quite stylized so you can actually see it. Perfect for my needs, but yeah, you can spend, make it as realistic or as stylized as you like. Do that on both pieces. So next up, just got to glue it all together. So for this, uh, side panels just have a bead of glue put on the back here, and that's going to go along the back on the edge here, and not inside it. Actually, on the outer edge like so we'll make sure it all stands up it's 
quite tricky this bit. I'm just going to try and show you the parts I'm going to show you. Yeah, so it goes on the outside edge, and then this already glued the uh, bit of card on here. Just the detail, you can see it's optional. Get glued to the inside. Bottom. Hopefully, you can see that. It's a bit messy at the moment with the glue. It's not quite dry, but terrible. Uh, hopefully, you can sort of see the different angles there. What it's, what it's like. It's easier to do it when you're not trying to show people, of course. That is the way um, it's easier to do it laying flat on its back. Like so. I'm just going to leave that to uh, to dry. You can do it with super glue, of course, as normal. I tend to uh, just use PVA and let things dry. I find it's the best glue, best multi purpose glue for this kind of thing. You can see it standing up there nicely. Uh, you also want to glue the shelves in. Um, you can eyeball with these, so you just want them evenly spaced out. Like so. Uh, don't glue the roof in just yet. Now you want to put some PV in it. Don't glue some roof in just yet, but um, glue the top bit card we had earlier on onto the uh, bottom foam core come along with the sculpting tool and just um, sculpt some wood gro grain grooves in onto the come on and maybe a bit on the foam core if you want but not too worried about that uh, if you do want to put the noggins on each corner uh, now's the time to do it for this you just want to Get your bits of foam, foam uh, that we cut out. Cut a bit of card square on top, just add a bit of detail. And you just want to come in and mark out where they're going to go. You can eyeball this just so they're sticking out. Just so it won't be flush in here, it'll stick out a little bit, which we'll show you at the end. Uh, but you can do that now with a knife. So you're just going to cut it, cut it out like that. You'll be flush at the bottom, but it'll uh, stick out the front and side here. Just do it out on all four, glue those in, and then just allow it all to dry. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to be using, or for some of I was going to be using these, if you remember. But what if you don't have these and you want to make your own books? Well, that's easy enough done if a little time consuming. Uh, what you're going to need is a strip of uh, chipboard, it's the one mil chipboard, um, its thickness is quite thin um, and a fit sort of length of card, serial box card or the same like thickness and this should just be ever so slightly sort of wider than your chipboard. Uh, one thing to note on this is uh, whatever width you make it on the card, it should fit in between your shelves, however wide you've made your shelves, as you can see here, it will fit in there. Uh, all you do to make a book is come in and cut a square of this out, like so, uh, put that in In between your uh, card, uh, leaving a bit overhanging on the edge here. Uh, fold it over it. This is just an easy way of getting the length you're going to need. Um, and then just come in, chop it, and you end up with something like this, and just glue that in place. Come in, oh, a bit of call my glue. I'm going to glue that in place. Uh, 
and uh, leave that to dry somewhere. Uh, and you're gonna make, if you haven't got any pre-made books, you're gonna need a load of those. So, and then we'll paint them up later. Next up, I'm just gonna be painting it brown. For this, I'm just gonna use a sort of uh, acrylic paint, uh, which is just an umber color, a burnt umber, if you like, umber brown. Uh, let's paint it on here. Right brush into the black groozy wood green. Don't get knocked. Don't get lost. Paint inside the shells, that side and the back. The book's just done by taking any sort of tan type color. Here yeah, I'm using uh, uh, Rakar Flesh, but you can use anything. Uh, Carrick Stone or Steel Leaf and Drab, something like that. But I'm just for this. Just want to do this and just paint the bit of chipboard that's inside the card that color. Going to be your pages. Do that on the others, leave that dry, and then just paint this any book colour you want green, brown, red. And that's the all there is to it for this. Well, this will be on a shelf, you won't really see see it that much anyway. It's going to be in the page the shelves, or you just need to see it just a little bit. Next up, just a dry brush some. Uh, this is still Legion Drab. Over it, just bring out all the wood grain. So, all that's left to do now, pretty much, is put all your books in there. Um, if you've got any skulls, you can add those in. Um, I'm just going to be using, remember this from the beginning of the video, the WizKid stuff. I'm saving these lot that are in there for a future video. Um, I think I've got in mind for those. But the rest of it can all just be uh, glued in. I'm just going to use super glue for this. Just because uh, time is a bit quicker. I won't show, you, show me uh, putting them all in, but just to show that's what one going in. And once you've got everything in, I left the top shelf off, just glue that in. And you've pretty much got a book shirt. Okay, so here's one I made earlier where it's got all totally homemade books in. So remember we made these books. And it's just got a little skull there, but I might add, why not? I might add one of these, one of these bottles in there. I'm going to get that done and we'll just have a quick look at the end. And this is what they look like when they're all finished. Got a couple of them. Probably make some more. Really easy to make. Really quick. But I think they look fantastic. Even one of the homemade books I think looks good. Yep. Anyway, that's another video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, got some more terrain videos lined up. Got a few more dungeon scatter ones I want to get done. The aforementioned wiz wizard's desk. I want to do some cupboards and things. Basically, I'm recreating the uh, Hero Quest uh, furniture. <laughs> in case you haven't guessed uh, but that's that done uh, I'm going to also be doing uh, something for SBG soon uh, yeah anyway you'll see them when they come up but that's that's it for this uh, this uh, terrain video uh, please uh, if you watch this and not subscribe please do subscribe we uh, cover we do a lot of hobbying and uh, playthroughs on the channel uh, if you have watch this and uh, enjoy it please do hit like or and if you do hit dislike uh, just do me a favor hit dislike just drop a slang in the comments let me know why you dislike it otherwise improvements can't be made and oh, I do want to get the channel as good as I can for you guys but anyway guys thanks for watching until next time take care